what's up youtube this is the keyboard warrior here and we are back with another tech in a video and today i'm going to teach you a few of jeans frame traps so what is a frame trap a frame trap is basically using a plus frame move to keep yourself at an advantage and then following it up with a really quick attack so that your opponent gets caught whenever he tries to punish you all right it could be a counter it it could be a launcher it depends on the plus frame move that you use not every move after a plus frame move would be a frame trap but certain moves are definitely worth using one of his simplest frame traps come from one two three that leaves you at zero or neutral so you could either sidestep in any direction depending on the character you're facing so i hope you guys already know that there are certain characters you need to sidestep in a certain way so depending on the character that you're facing you have to sidestep or one two one two three followed by a two one all right because neutral two one that's also a 10 frame punish or one two three go for up forward two one two three up forward two or two one up forward two yeah you could also go for one two three and then two four but 2-4 is mm, a little risky because both of them are high attacks. So if the opponent can understand what you're trying to do, he would probably duck and launch you for a full combo. So I wouldn't recommend going for 2-4. However, if you are trying to sidestep and then go for a 2-4, you can do that. Let's say your opponent is trying to punish you after this, okay? So if you're sidestepping him, you get an easy punish this is your punish right two four does a chunky amount of damage and it's pretty good for a punish if you can uh, manage to connect it all right but i wouldn't recommend doing two four right after one two three so this no way i wouldn't recommend but this sidestep i would if you're playing at really high levels you would know that Jin's 1-2-3 is interruptible so if your opponent is very talented and he knows his matchup you would probably want to do 1-2 and then follow it up with an up forward 2 okay Jin's forward forward 3-1 leaves him on a plus 1 frame advantage and since you're on plus 1 you could follow it up with a 2-1 punish or you could just sidestep and punish. Just like you would do for one, two, three. So whenever we are talking about frame traps, we think about all these plus frame moves, right? But forward forward four is minus seven on block, but the pushback is so much that you could consider this for a frame trap setup. Let's say forward forward four, and the opponent tries to punish you, and you could easily go for a down to low counter. Right? And then you can complete your combo. So I've set up Kazuya to do his punishment move after forward forward four, considering the range of the punishment. So he's gonna do this, right? Now I'll do forward forward four and I'll punish him with my down two. Okay? You see, there's your counter. So it works. All right. This is basically a frame trap. If your opponent does not know the frame data, he would probably try to punish you over there. But but if he knows the frame data, he would probably just you know respect you and let you do your move. All right. So when we are talking about his plus frame moves, how can we miss out the electric? Yeah. So the electric leaves you at plus five, right? Okay. So let's do a little math over here. You're, you're on plus 5 and a simple jab is 10 frames, right? So any move that you do which is 14 frames or less should connect. For example, if I do this standing 4 which is 13 frames, it should connect after uh, the electric. See, I get a free heat engager, right? But if I do a move which is above 
14 frames say for instance this hop kick which is 15 on startup see what happens when i do it after the electric we get traded all right so nothing happens basically Again, if I try to do another move, say for instance this one, forward 4, which is like 16 frames on startup. And if I want to do it after the electric, this is what happens. He trades back. Like, he literally punishes me. I couldn't do the move. He punished me. Why? Because he had one frame advantage because I was doing a 16 frame move. So this is how it works over here. So for instance, 3-1 should connect. His down forward 1 should connect. I'll show you. You see, this one connects. 3-1 connects. So you have to do this on your own. Like you have to figure out what should be your best option. But if you ask me, I normally go for uh, the standing four because that gives me a counter hit and I can get a free heat engager. But that's still a high and it's risky. So if you want a safe mid option, I would suggest you go for back to one after the electric. All right, it's 14 frames, so you're just on point. Now let's say Kazuya is going for a big punish. You can also sidestep after the electric. There you go. Try not to go for a down two after the electric because if your opponent is going for a mid punish, you're probably gonna get hit. There you see. However, if your opponent is going for a high punish, you would probably crush his high and counter at him. Alright? So, it's a bit of a 50-50, but it's risky, so I wouldn't recommend it. Your best option would be your standing 4, or basically your safe mid, that is back to 1. So, an electric after an electric sounds like a really good option, but it's not. Because even though it shows 11 frames on startup, it's a little misleading over here, because you have to do the input, right? So that is also taken into account because the other moves, they are instant. You know, you just press a button and that's it. But the electric, you need to do forward, neutral, and then down, forward, and two on the same frame. Yeah, so that takes a while. So you can uh, basically count two or three frames for the input, right? So electric is not uh, logically 11 frames. However, if your opponent is going for a big punish, you can still punish him with uh, an electric after an electric like this all right but you have to be frame perfect and that is risky so i wouldn't recommend a better option would be up forward too there you go another way to frame trap your opponent would be to use your parry to parry you can press either one plus three and back simultaneously or you can press two plus four and back Right? So let's say you do an electric over here. Yeah, I parried him twice, right? After you parry, you have the window to go for a punish as well. So you can even go for a launcher if you are frame perfect. So let's do an electric. But I don't think it will be possible here because the uh, setting is on auto block. So he would probably be blocking me all the time. So let's try it out. Nah, he's gonna block me. A grab works. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. I pretty much know what the CPU is gonna do, right? So that's why I could parry him twice. I also know Kazuya's matchup and I know his punishes, so that's why I could parry him. But if you don't know the matchup, if you're new, you, chances are you wouldn't know the matchup. In that case, if you try to parry, your timing would probably go off and you would end up getting punished, even launched, you know? So stick to your beginner tools until and unless you're absolutely sure about the matchup and keep practicing uh, your parries in the lab 
so that you can go ahead and not mess it up when you try to use it in a real match. Alright? Well, uh, these are just the basic frame traps that you would want to learn with Jean at the moment, uh, if you're new. Uh, there are other frame traps as well, which depends a lot on which characters you're facing, what punishes they have. Alright, so uh, Tekken is not an easy game. It's pretty difficult and it has tons of stuff. So it's just not as easy as just learning a few things and then going online and executing it. So keep practicing as much as you can and try to get better every day as you practice. All right. So that will be it for the video. If you like this tutorial, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'm thinking of doing this for a living. So it would mean a lot to me if you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.